Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Malcolm with the Engines.com marketing team. Today we have Corey with Cabot's Marketing Manager. How you doing, Corey? I'm doing well, and yourself? Pretty good. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about marketing. Uh, can you give us a little bit of uh, background and how you got into being Cabot's Marketing Manager? Yeah, so uh, it's kind of an odd story. I'm a professional sports photographer, and basically I was working as a photographer covering uh, GRC back in its early days and became friends with Cabot. And um, based on my history before being a photographer, I had actually was an IT manager, but that actually kind of led me into a lot of uh, businesses. So when I became, when Cab and I started discussing what kind of opportunities I could help him with, I realized that I did have a, a pretty good marketing sense of what his value was and what kind of connections I had already um, that I could kind of bridge that gap with him uh, and create opportunities for him uh, within the racing community. You did a great job too. So you worked in photography, design, is that how you got the car design? Yeah, so I, I, you know, because of my background in photography and, and you know graphic design, uh, the car that you see on track was actually designed by me, which is also kind of cool to, to say that I designed the car. And we've gotten a lot of good feedback saying that this car is one of the best looking cars on the paddock. And that helps a lot of the sponsors as well. Um, you know, the way that Engines.com looks on the car is amazing and it flows perfectly and it's very visual. Definitely. And with sponsorships, you go about sponsorships a little different than a lot of the other guys here. Can you tell us some of the big factors that help you get sponsors for Cabot? Yeah, so, um, you know, when we started working together, my whole idea, um, I looked at what sponsorships have done in the past for motorsports, and it was a lot different than what today's you know market is with social media with the ability to outreach people on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all these different platforms. You know, 20 years ago, those things didn't exist. Um, so I wanted to use Cabot's social media aspect to kind of um, also bring sponsorship, you know, uh, exposure versus just having, you know, a stupid badge on a car. It's, you know, no one, it's not going to uh, create much market value. With Cabot having a lot of followers on Instagram and on Twitter and on Facebook, um, we wanted to kind of merge the two. Now, coupled with that, we also wanted to show his Cabot's value. And, um, you know, this is a very expensive program that we run here. You know, I'm talking about a million dollar program essentially to run this car. And to go to a new company, company you've never even spoke to before and say, hey, give me half a million dollars to run my car is a very difficult thing to do. Uh, so what we wanted to do is portray, you know, show cab its value beforehand. So when we were doing ARX2 and we were doing the truck series, uh, we wanted to show the value by, by throwing logos and, and, and going on social media and visiting shops and, and going to PRI, going to SEMA and, and showing cab its value before we said, hey, cut us a big check. And I think that's worked out well with a lot of our sponsors to show that we're not here just to take your money. We're here to show that we're going to add value to your company, you know. So how was it working with the Engines.com team? It's been absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, once Engines.com was launched, uh, we were so excited to be one of the first people to actually tell the country and tell the world about Engines.com. And, you know, over the last year and a half relationship that we've had with Engines.com, you know, we've come to look at guys like you and, and you know, and, and everybody at the back home at Engines.com down in Florida as family, as friends. Like, you know, we've, we've hung out after races. Like, we've had really good times. And, you know, having a sponsor that you can call your friend is a huge thing for us because, again, we're not here to just take money. Like, we want to create relationships and show what we can do. So it's been absolutely epic to be able to work with Engines.com. It's been great working with you. And something uh, Corey had said earlier is, you know, you want to enjoy your work. You want to enjoy life. So working with people that aren't having fun, it's just no good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, we're, we're here for a very short time on this planet. So we got to enjoy it and, and make relationships and, and create, you know, spread positivity and be happy with life. And, you know, I, I left a cushy job where I was sitting in a, behind a desk back in the day. And I, I'm so happy that I did to, to meet people like you and John and, and all the engines.com people. It's just been amazing. And Cabot, obviously, is a pretty good guy, too. <laughs> he's pretty good. Yeah, he's not bad. All right. Thanks for helping us out. And great work with you, Corey. Thank you so much. Take care. Back to you, John. Cut.